24 heures ce matin, le gouvernement canadien a décrété la loi sur les mesures de guerre. We're talking about how the October crisis was lived uh, by the um, average Quebecois person in Montreal. A Montreal video game designer is bringing an important period in Quebec history back to life. Olivier Leclerc is developing a game called Cauchemar d'Octobre or October Nightmares. It's a point-and-click cosmic horror game that takes place during the October crisis. It's really a, a game about how the, 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 the human being uh, lived the event and how fear was used by the uh, f uh, federal government uh, um, as a tool of uh, repression. The game combines the events from October 1970 in Montreal when members of the FLQ kidnapped the provincial labour minister Pierre Laporte and British diplomat James Cross and the response to this, the War Measures Act, which was invoked by Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau, which limited civil liberties, allowing police to arrest and detain close to 500 people. I find inspiration from uh, everything, uh, every historical sources I can find. Uh, some movies too, we had some great movies about the, uh, the subject, some documentaries. Uh, so I go left and right, uh, try to find uh, uh, the most uh, compelling uh, sources. During the creation of this video game, Leclerc added a supernatural element to heighten the anxiety of what was happening at the time. He also uses the loss of individual freedoms as part of the horror element in the game's story. The cosmic horror, it's a jar where the horror crumbs comes from how small the human being is in the uh, entirety of a cosmos and how, uh, how we are unable to comprehend uh, how it's limitless. In developing Cauchemar d'Octobre, Leclerc emphasizes the importance of video games that reflect Quebec's history and culture. For me, video game it's a legitimate way to talk about our history and our, our culture and to valorize our culture throughout the world. The goal is really to, to, uh, to establish video game as a part of the Quebecois culture and to do so we have to talk about our own histories. The video game has raised funds through a Kickstarter campaign and is expected to be available as a PC video game in the next couple of years. I'm a bit afraid of the reception, uh, but I think it would spark some interesting conversations uh, and it would get the interest of younger generations uh, to know more about the October crisis. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.